so excited that we're going to be doing some drawing together. Um, I am Maria Dante and I volunteer at Percy Pines and I attend Desert Springs United Methodist Church and I um, just love to draw and I am looking forward to spending some time with you. So the first thing I thought we would do is we're going to go over some simple materials. These are things that you should have at home. Um, we're gonna mainly do some drawing techniques, some cartooning, drawing, simple objects around the house, um, and just uh, giving you some ideas on how to make your drawings even better. So this should take about 10, 15 minutes, and um, they're just um, meant to be fun and quick and easy to follow. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I think you could probably get in touch with me somehow and I will let you know how um, probably in my next video. So starting with the materials that you are going to need, we are going to be using some white paper and I have this um, sketchbook but if you do not have a sketchbook at home, any copy paper will do. Any white paper is um, good. Um, I have my collection of pencils. These are great drawing pencils. Um, they're wonderful for shading. Uh, oh, sorry, the light is... I've never done a video before, so but just bear with me. If you don't have drawing pe uh, pencils, then you can just use a regular pencil. That would work as well. And then um, if you want to outline your drawings at the end, you can use a Sharpie marker if you have one. That gives them a nice um, kind of cartoonish look when we are doing cartooning. So today we're gonna do this little guy. He is a very sweet person and he is happy that you are here with us. So let's just take him over here and I'll put him aside. First thing you need to do is find that center of your paper. We want your drawings to be centered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear this paper off and I'm going to do the uh, pinch method, which is when you are going to find that half or midline on your paper. We're going to do this and then we're going to pinch here and we are going to pinch here and we're going to open this up and that immediately lets us uh, know that that is the center of the paper. Um, so to start out with our fun little guy, he mostly has a nice big round head about the size of your hand. So um, let's put him over here for now and let's just try to draw him um, his face first, his head, which is the main um, shape, mostly a circle. So we're gonna measure with our fingers, that's about three and about four from the bottom. And the reason why we do that is we want it to be proportionate. So we're gonna do three from the top and four from the bottom. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have, these are guidelines. So it's up to just for you to get an idea and about the size of my hand. So what we're gonna do is we did that. We have our two um, marks and we're gonna draw. And you can draw any way you want really. It's better if you try not to do this too much but I understand at the beginning when you're warming up it's kind of easy to do it this way. And, and the good thing is that you can always erase. So try to do as big a circle as you can. Always erase and we're gonna draw super light so that if we do make a mistake or if we think that we are making a mistake we can go ahead and fix that. So that's a circle and that's gonna be our cute little head. Um, we're gonna do this very light dotted line here to make sure that we have marked that center line. And um, this 
boy has two big eyes. He's very happy and surprised. So we are going to make sure that they're symmetrical, which means they're both going to be both at the same both sides. So around the size of a quarter, we're going to draw a nice big circle here and then another big circle on the other side. And then um, for the noses, since he is a sort of like a cartoon character, he's not um, a character that is intending to look real. We are going to draw a nice big half circle here and that's going to be its nose. And then he has a little bit of a smirk. He's up to, he's got a great idea he's about to share with someone. So we're going to do that. And then we are going to draw his little eyes right here. Something like that. So the eyes, the outside of the eyes are about the size of a quarter. And then the inside of the little eyes would be the pupils are a little bit smaller. Make sure that they're about the size, I don't know, maybe the size of a racing. Um, and then he's got the little smart. And we're going to exaggerate a little bit because he is not, obviously not intending to look real. We're going to put his ears and we're going to put his ears a little bit um, low here. And we're going to double that line and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Double that line. Now for his neck, we are going to make his neck look nice and long and stretchy. And he's sort of like that. And then um, his shoulders are going to be coming down. Make sure that his shoulders are about were his ears so make sure that they're lining up with his ears um, and then we're gonna dress him up a little bit give him a shirt just like that and so there you go that is um, our character for today if you want to fix something you can always if you draw super light you can always go and erase it so when you're done, you can go ahead and with a Sharpie marker, um, start outlining everything you've done. And I usually do this when I'm waiting for paint to dry. So I'll paint a picture and then I'm waiting around. I'll just have some fun drawing some characters. There he is. And so now I'm gonna take an eraser. Hopefully you have a nice eraser at home. Or if not, you can use the back of a pencil. And because you drew ever so lightly, you can erase all those pencil marks. And there he is. If you wanted to, you can add some hair if you wanted to. I like him that way. Kind of simple, um, cute lines. And there it is. Thank you so much for joining me and I will be back tomorrow. Thank you. Mm -hmm.